Hey everybody, thought I would uh, show off a few purchases from last week. I had some Christmas money, like usual, to spend, and uh, some of it included a $50 gift certificate to Zap Records, which is in uh, Coburg, Ontario. Awesome little record store, it's been there for a long, long time. Uh, old high school friend named Tim owns it, a very knowledgeable guy about uh, psych music as well as garage, garage rock, um, fuzz rock, metal, everything, a little bit of everything. You never know what you're going to get into. He was on a Rolling Stones uh, binge on Tuesday when I was in there. So anyways, I bought some stuff. And I thought I would uh, check it out with you. I can think of what three of the six things are, like usual. I cannot remember all of them. Some stuff I just run back and grab at the last second. I'll pu pull it out and leave it sitting up. And then I scan the room when I'm done and see if there's anything I want to go back and grab. I kind of spoiled myself this time. So let's see. I know it's an eclectic, eclectic mix this time. And keep it fresh and new. Top one. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the prices this time too. Um, just to give you an idea. Keep in mind we're up in Canada, so these are Canadian prices. So you can get an idea if this is a, a trip you'd want to make, if you think they're fair, whatever. Uh, I think his prices are, are very reasonable. I mostly buy used, uh, not new. So I can't really speak to the uh, new prices as well it's because it's Christmas money. Uh, I tend to not look at the prices as much. I just buy stuff I like. So first one, Bison BC, otherwise known as Bison, Canadian band. They threw the BC in there because there were so many Bison bands. Um, I'm Canadian, they're Canadian, so I'm used to just calling them Bison BC. Uh, I own their first two full albums. Great stuff. Uh, there's the song. We've got six songs on there, but they're probably pretty long. Uh, I find them to be similar to maybe like a High on Fire. Uh, maybe a bit heavier Red Fang. So I'm not sure if they went in a different... Uh, in a different direction with this one, but if it's anything like their first two, should be excellent. That's gonna slide right off there. Put that up there. All right, next one. Twenty bucks. Next one. Ah, no, not the sweater. Shirt time. Blue cheer. Reissue. This is a later one, I think. I don't have this on anything. Um, mind you, I probably have some of the songs on compilations. I love Blue Cheer. That's a big, thick wall of sound band. Commonly known as in the ongoing battle for who was the first metal band, Black Sabbath or Blue Cheer. Um, I personally could care less. I love them both. Let's see, there's a track listing on the back there. So yeah, so I don't know too much about this one. And I know they cycled through some band members and stuff like that. So we'll see if they made any changes, but should be a guaranteed winner. Next one. Ah, Chicago Transit Authority, otherwise known as Chicago. This is a really nice copy. Uh, they had one for 25 bucks used. They had one for 35 bucks used. I grabbed the $25 one because I looked it over and I thought it looked great. Um, and I've never owned this. So uh, in Tim's words, yeah, first one's the best one. Second one's the next best one. The rest of them can go to hell or something to that effect. <laughs> but uh, we'll check that out. It should be good. Next. Ah, yes. 
Rival Sons. I'm kind of late to the game on these guys. I own one of their albums. Uh, I knew nothing of them. Then I saw the Sabbath cover at one of the award shows. And I thought it was great. I love raspy vocals. One of the reasons I love Blue Cheer. Um, so yeah, so I grabbed this one because it wasn't exorbitantly expensive. 30 bucks. Orange vinyl. Orange vinyl. Can't go wrong with that. And it's a debut album. Debut albums are usually win-win. What do we got left? I can't. I know what one of these is. I know what this one is. Pokey Lafarge. I call it train riding music. I found Pokey on NPR's Tiny Music Desk. And I love his sound. So old. So, I don't, you're not going to be able to see those titles, I don't think, but. He has just a great old soul of a sound. And he puts out a lot of stuff. Seems like a very genuine, very nice dude. This is his newest one, or one of his newest ones. Uh, to be honest, I don't enjoy the first single off of this one that they put out. Um, uh, it's not, uh, I don't know, it just didn't catch me. But he almost never disappoints. So that was definitely worth taking a shot at. And the last one. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so this is a butterfly splatter. Death. Individual thought patterns. So I own this on tape. Or I owned it on tape. I don't know if I still have it. But uh, this is a great album. One of the best of this genre of music, I would say. Um... I don't know if you can see through the glare there. But... Individual thought patterns. Yeah. So anyways, uh, this was kind of my go-to for death metal, speed metal, thrash metal, whatever. Whenever I was in the mood for something like that, I would just go back to this over and over and over again. Never owned it on vinyl and never owned it on CD. So when I saw that they had a splatter version, I grabbed it. And there you go. That's my six albums from Zap Records. Uh, if you live anywhere near there, check them out. I think they have the website up and kicking. Yeah, he's got his uh, he's got his uh, he's got his website up and kicking right now too. So you can always check that out. Uh, definitely worth the drive, even if you're an hour or two away. You're not gonna walk out there disappointed. He's got tons of stuff, tons of stuff, uh, and his place is dog friendly too. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy my uh, taste in music, and uh, see you around.